What's going on, fam? Welcome back to another video. We are on our way to get the first animal that I wanted to introduce to our homestead, but the missus was not on board. If you think you know what that animal is, comment down below. Before we pick up this animal, we agreed uh, to help out this other homesteading family to help them butcher some chickens to send them off to freezer camp. So in exchange for our services, we are doing the alternative currency of what today's world definitely need right now is bartering. Take some of this. Okay. Get out of here. Oh, oh my God. And you can cook it that way too. Yep. You I'm so Some excited. people, I'm still trying to learn how to right. do it, but I'm not that fancy. Yet. Yeah, that, that's a lot. If you learn that, you better let me know because that would be awesome. Huh? because I can put some feed in there. So that way, because they recommend weaning them like how you do dogs to different feeds. Mm -hmm. I never have, I've never had an issue, but- What kind of feed do you give yeah. them right now? Uh, just is the feed. bag over there? We just get it from the feed store. It's just like a regular 16% rabbit feed. Okay. So nothing too special or crazy. Because we did just get some, but we, I wasn't sure. Yeah, they're not too picky. All right, boy number one. Will you grab a couple hay cubes? I'll throw those in there and they can chew on those. Oh, and God. just for clarity, exactly how old are they right now? I'll give you the exact date of birth. I want to say it was April 10th. So about eight weeks. And how soon can they start? You said, uh, he said four months they can start breeding. It all, honestly, it all depends on the rabbit. So I've had like saffron, for example, took her eight or nine months to breed. All my other ones, less than six. Okay. So I usually don't try until they are around five to six. Yeah, we don't want to. I just want yeah, to make sure that yeah. no, no accidents happen. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. it should be fine. Honestly, the last round I had, I left them in too long and they were like already kind of mounting each other. But <laughs> nobody had a fall off or anything, so nothing ever happened. Well, but practicing. yeah, these guys aren't even mounting or anything yet for sure. But yeah, once they yeah, start doing that and their hormones start going, that's when like male with male can be bad because if they start you know getting frisky they'll do some damage to each other and they can do some pretty good fighting i've never had a whole lot of issues but it can definitely happen okay there they are when they were born april 10th how long trying to get out the gestation gestation period 30 days okay some okay. of them could be like 29 some of them are 31 um but if you try to start breeding, I wouldn't breed them like a second time until it's been at least like 33 days because some of them are late havers and they can go on 32, 33 days. Yeah, I don't think I want to rush right into breeding. Yeah. I want to hold off for a little while. <laughs> Is this our other boy? This no. should be the other boy. Yeah, that's our sweet boy. Yeah, Isn't that the sweet boy? Yes. Oh, that tummy. He's a sweet boy. Oh my God. I yeah. Normally they him. hate this. Normally they absolutely hate this. This is like one of the sweetest babies. Aren't you, He's boy? He's a sweet baby. He's a good boy. All right, girl. And you definitely need to be careful, like with the ones like this that are very kicky. Are you this one? No. Um, the, they'll start kicking these and that's when it hurts. So a lot of times if they start kicking like that, I'll hold them here and grab here. Okay. Let them chill out for a second. You can kind of hear their heartbeat. So I'll just kind of chill them for a minute. I'll set that down, hold, just kind of chill, loosen up the grip. Then I'll do another little tuck. Sometimes it takes a couple tries. They say that comes- Here, help her with the lid. Oh, sorry girl. I know. 
and they have dirty little paws because as you can see they have a nice little poop area over I here. I see that, yeah. They kill me. They like the poop in the same spot. Yeah. We'll double check. Female. Alright. Nice catch. Got a little tackle. Alright. We should be at four. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Got it. It's best to do it quickly. If they see you coming, they're like, What if you do it quick? For some reason, some of their bits are smaller, like even though they're the same age, same size and stuff, but some of them just naturally, I guess, have smaller, just like humans, you know, they're bigger and smaller. Yeah. But I like that we can identify the, like, because the, the colored the colors, ones yeah, are the boys. The females are red and hollowed. Hey, little babies. Okay, what's your Instagram handle? The Branch Ranch. The Branch Ranch. And what all do you do out on your homestead? So we have pigs, soon to be turkeys once they grow up, chickens, rabbits. Garden. Garden, yeah, for guineas. sure. Guineas. Just all the things. Okay. So our followers can find you on Instagram? Mm -hmm. And I'm on Facebook at The Branch Ranch. I think on Facebook it's like The Branch Ranch Homestead. I want to give a special shout out and thanks to Ivy Tuvum because when we first were trying to work out details with the Branch Ranch about getting the bunnies and doing this barter exchange, that same week Ivy Tuvum had actually sent us an email offering us an option between a chicken hutch or a rabbit hutch and as soon as I saw the rabbit hutch I was like God is at work here <laughs> and I, I responded usually we don't do too many sponsor things like this but this one was special because these are babies I had the idea to go ahead and do this and utilize this Ivy Tuvum setup that we had for our babies and it was really simple to set up it only required very simple tools and two people, I think one person could have done it with a little challenge, but the two of us, because we build stuff all the time, it only took us 30 minutes to put it together. If that. Yeah, exactly. Um, the only little hiccup was a little latch thing that I've already emailed them about. It was just one missing piece. It wasn't a missing piece. It was just two duplicated pieces and I needed the, the, the latch. Yeah, the latch part. Yeah, but we have tons of tools because we build stuff and we are going to be building something bigger for as these babies get bigger and this really is going to be a nursery hutch for us and that's what we're going to be utilizing it for or when we need to separate a mama bunny with her babies and kind of give them a little space so this is going to be a valuable asset for us and I'm very thankful for Brand the Branch Ranch for even, and it, this was part of the community mm -hmm. bartering. We did a video with the founders of the East Texas Homesteading Co-op Group, and they do a bartering post. What is it, monthly? Yeah. Yeah, a monthly bartering post, and you can list under there different things. This family, we just happened to catch said that they needed help butchering some chickens and they had what we wanted, the Tamuk rabbit. We have been talking about the Tamuk rabbits. When he first wanted rabbits and I didn't want rabbits, <laughs> secretly I started doing homework. You didn't even have Tamuk. He didn't even know what Tamuks were. I went and did homework about Tamuks being able to withstand the heat because my another fear with rabbits for me was I've heard how the heat really affects them. And that was something that we were kind of worried about. I feel that this area is gonna be quite set up. It's similar to how they had theirs. 
uh, in a shaded area and they do very well in the heat, uh, especially in this Texas heat, and they're very uh, tolerant in the cold. This is a perfect setup for someone like in an urban area. Uh, if they want to have some rabbits, uh, either pet rabbit or meat rabbits, or even... And it's, it, it's really designed for two, up to two full-grown rabbits. Keep yeah. in mind, these are only two-month-old rabbits. Yeah, and they get quite larger. If you see early in the video, they are very huge. But uh, we're going to be building something for that and keeping them all secure. Uh, the other part of that is, is that we initially had thoughts of just kind of doing a tractor thing and 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 we are still going to do that we're just going to have to do it modified not only just for their security from predators but rabbits burrow they yeah. dig and we saw a bunch of videos where people actually did that and kept finding their rabbits better together life yeah bo and kelly mm -hmm. he was th they was talking about how when their one of their five mistakes was they just let them in a little uh, cage area and just try to run them in tractors and they just escaped and burrowed out so yeah they just dig down and that's just a rabbit's nature and they gave great advice on their video about that with some coated metal mesh mm -hmm. right at the bottom because it won't hurt their feet it's safer for them the grass will still come up or wooden slats is another option it just depends on what your design is when you do it